Now that all American adults are eligible for COVID vaccinations, many do see the pandemic nearing its end. However, for those suffering from long haul COVID-19, the end really seems nowhere in sight. So joining us today to talk about this issue and how people are sharing their COVID journey is Dr. Arkel Giorgio. Good morning. Good morning. We are really happy to have you with us um, because I think like we said, we're kind of all starting to feel a little more normal or kind of working our way back to that. Uh, but there are some COVID patients that still feel like they have a long way to go, these long haulers. So what are they dealing with? You bet. There are a number of people who are experiencing these persistent long symptoms. So about 10% of the population that has COVID ends up having long COVID. And that's defined as people who have persistent symptoms that last longer than four weeks. It can last eight weeks, 12 weeks. We know some people that have had symptoms for longer than a year. The common symptoms that people have, the most common are cough, fatigue, shortness of breath, joint pain, chest pain, this brain fog that makes it difficult to concentrate. But there can be over 200 different symptoms that people have. And that's what makes this so difficult because symptoms vary from patient to patient. In fact, symptoms vary in the same individual patient from day to day. It's very complicated and I think you kind of hit, hit it on the nose there when you said, you know, it, it is very difficult and it's difficult for these patients that are going through it. Um, what can you do if you think that you are one of these COVID long haulers? The first thing is to recognize that your symptoms are real. This is not imagined. And so if you have any symptoms that you believe could be long COVID that you should talk with your doctor about it, there could be uh, treatment that could make you have a better experience, that it could make you feel better, or it's also possible that there's another underlying condition that uh, has emerged that needs to be addressed because these are pretty vague symptoms. The second thing is to recognize that there's a lot of doctors in the local community that don't feel comfortable with long COVID. It's not a condition that's been around for very long. So some patients have complained of feeling like they're not getting care, that they're being brushed off. There are specialty COVID clinics that have actually emerged across the country. There are about, oh, there are over 30 of them. And so it's possible that if you're not getting the care that you believe is you need and you're getting better, that you might wanna tap into accessing one of these specialty COVID clinics. And then finally, something that you can do for yourself is making sure that you share your our health journey with a larger community because we know that science shows us that being part of a community, especially when you're part of a health journey, is really important to healing. So pulling in friends, family, and finding support is critically important. So there are lots of options. We kind of just have to keep pushing ourselves to look and ask those questions. How is Caring Bridge helping long haulers heal and cope? Well, for over 24 years, Caring Bridge has offered a safe, protected space for people to share their story, share their health journey. And so um, we recognize that it's really important for people with long COVID to be able to create that community of support as well. So what we've just launched is a special long COVID resource site on the Caring Bridge platform that people can access by going to caringbridge.org slash COVID. And there are a number of resources on there that people can tap into. They can get links to those specialty clinics that I was talking about earlier in case they need specialty care. They can get the latest research on long COVID so that they know the best science and information that's out there. They can link to support groups that, um, that are that are uh, used by other individuals with long COVID. There are thousands across the United States and across the world. So connecting with other people that have similar symptoms gives you information on what works, what doesn't work and the latest knowledge. And you can start your own Caring Bridge page so that you can pull in your own community of support, family, friends, they want to help you, they just need to know how. And finally, we are uh, offering a survey on that resource page that we really hope that people complete. Because by sharing information about your symptoms and what you've been experiencing, we can aggregate that data and put it out and research it and um, share that information. We'll do that during the summer so that we can add to the science base and to the knowledge about how to uh, help people with long COVID. Awesome, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Giorgio, this morning for all of that information uh, for our viewers. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll be back after this with more local lifestyles.